Watch you guys, today we're taking a look at Windows 11's new hidden video wallpaper feature. It's on Windows 11 25 H2. Now, Windows Dream Scene was something that was introduced in Windows Vista. And it seems that Microsoft have decided to add this to Windows 11. And what this will basically do is add a video background for your desktop. Now, some people might be shouting at the monitor screen saying, why do we need a video uh, desktop wallpaper? Now, Steam do offer a wallpaper engine, which is very heavily used by a lot of people. Now, you will need to have build 26.220.6690, uh, and that is the version you'll need on Windows 11 to be able to test this feature if you want to test it inside a virtual machine like I'm doing. So I'm not expecting it to run very smoothly in a virtual machine, but you'll get a general idea of what it's going to look like once it's been released to the general public or if it ever gets released, because it is in testing phases at the moment. You're going to need the Vive tool to be able to enable this feature and you can download it from their website on GitHub. Once you've got that downloaded, we're going to need to extract it into our folder so we can add this feature onto this version of Windows. So let me go ahead and extract all of this content right here into its own little folder. So right click. So let's extract all here and this will create the Vive tool in its own extracted folder. So I'm going to go ahead and extract here. And this is where we need to have it. So it's just in our downloads folder. You can put it wherever you like. Now we need to navigate to this location in command prompt. So go up the top, highlight this area right here, and we can copy that code. All we need to do now is go to the start button, type CMD, and run this as administrator, just like so. Say yes to the user account control here. And from there, what we want to do is we're going to go CD space and then paste that path, push enter. And now we're in the actual area where we need to be. Now we need to type in this command right here. And once we type this command, we'll be able to enable this feature. Soon you won't need to do all of this. You'll be able to just uh, use the feature because it will be released in a Windows update. So that is the command Vive tool space forward slash enable space forward slash ID and the number. Once we've done that, we can restart our PC or you can restart the Windows Explorer, whatever floats your boat. And once you've done that, we should be back at the desktop and then we can try. Now, thing to remember, this is in very early access, so it's probably not even finished and we might see a few bugs and a few glitches, but we can get a good idea of what Microsoft are up to and we can get a good idea of what to expect in future updates. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go to our video section. I've got some videos here that we can use and you can use whatever video you like. It does have different extensions which you can use as videos. Now remember, this is going to take some system resources. So if you have a bit of a potato PC and it's unsupported, it might not work too well for you when it's released because obviously Windows 11 is a bit of a resource hog as it is. So let's go to the personalization right here. And then we need to go to the background tab because that's where we need to change our background. Inside here, you can see personalize your background. And what it says is Windows Spotlight. So we need to change this to picture. And I'm pretty sure there'll be something else there soon, like video or something like that. But it says picture and then browse photos. And when we use the drop down arrow, you will see now .mp4, .m4v, .mov, and so on. There's a bunch of different ones here. So you can leave it set to all. And there is even a .avi and a .mkv there as well, I can see. So let's go ahead and choose a image. Now, it might work better with certain images than others, but I am in a virtual machine, so I'm expecting it to be a little bit slow because it doesn't have a dedicated graphics card or anything like that and it's restricted on memory so let's go ahead and choose one of these videos and we'll take a look and see what it looks like so basically choose one of these choose picture because at the moment they haven't finished it and it does say picture and it will probably say choose video and i did see a little glitch there but you can see there we go it's now playing as our wallpaper it's a video wallpaper and Obviously, this is going to be native to Windows 11, which means uh, you will not have to 
uh, you know, download any third party software. And once this is finalized and finished, this will be silky smooth on a desktop PC and you will be able to have a video uh, footage as your background if you wanted to. And this is something that was introduced back in Windows Vista days, but now we seem to have come full circle and now introducing it back into Windows 11. I personally think they should set their attention to fixing a lot of bugs on Windows 11 rather than worrying about uh, you know, a video background that probably a majority of people are not going to use. But that's just my opinion, because at the end of the day, it is going to take more resources to run a video background, and Windows 11 is a bit of a resource hog as it is. So adding a video desktop background will zap all your memory and your system resources. So bear that in mind. If it's something that you want, let me know in the comments section down below. I'd be interested to read your comments whether this feature is going to be something that you'd be interested in. Anyway, with that said, I think that is going to be about it for this video. Remember, this is just really early access. There's no mention about it from Microsoft as yet. Uh, so we'll just have to wait and see whether it materializes into a full-blown feature and release to the general public. Anyway, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I appreciate the support and I shall catch you in the next video where I'll see you on the Discord server. Bye for now.